I passed another medical school exam. I'm very proud of myself. Uh, I gotta go to class now to learn some more. It's a good day. It's a very, very, very good day. Hello everyone, my name is Jasmine McCoy and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, thank you for clicking in to drop by, but if you are a returner, it is always nice to have you back. Yes, this video is coming out a little bit later than expected. Medical school was doing its thing and we're going to talk about that in this video. So uh, this is going to be the October monthly recap video at the end of the year i want to be able to look back at 12 different videos where i will be able to get an abridged version of hmm what happened in the year of 2023 before we get too far into this video if you are not yet subscribed that is okay i will help you out you're going to take your finger your cursor go to the bottom right hand corner where there is a big red button that says subscribe Click that, turn on notifications, and you will be notified of all the other videos that I make as I go through this journey of medical school. And a lot was happening. I mean, you all just saw in that little snippet that I did pass exam number two of medical school, but obviously I am more than just a medical student, and this video is going to talk about all of the things that happened in the month of October. So starting off with October, we had to make sure that we obviously do some things outside of school, that we do some things to celebrate it being spooky season. Although this was not a spooky activity, but it was something that I did have on my bucket list of things to do for spooky season. I went to the Lincoln Park Apple Fest and I had so much fun. I also made a whole other video about going to the Lincoln Park Apple Fest. And then after going to the Apple Fest, Obviously, the Apple Fest is going to have food, it's going to have drink, it's going to have also a bunch of little arts and crafts stalls for people to buy, like, jewelry, pottery, those kinds of things. And then there were also a bunch of farms selling their apples, as well as, you know, other things that you grow on farms. But after that, I did go and study because I had exam number two coming up, which as you saw, I already passed that, but at the time, I was still studying. Like I said, I did make a full-length video. I will put the link in the description, but here is a little montage of the Lincoln Park Apple Fest. As I said in that last segment, yes, I did have an exam that I was studying for, exam number two, which I took, but even beyond that, because that happened at the beginning of October, even beyond that, medical school, medical school was swinging pretty hard in October. Like, there were some good uppercuts, there were some jabs, there were some things that I was not expecting, but we made it. Everything is fine, obviously, and there was just a lot going on. So obviously at the beginning of October, I took exam number two, exam number two. Pretty good, we like that. You saw that reaction. 
And then we started the exam number three, and it was a whole different beast. Exam number three was bugs and drugs, as people call it, and bugs being all the little things that can make you sick. Drugs, what do you give someone when they have X disease? So it was a lot of memorization. You would be given uh, a specific drug, no, a specific bug, like Pseudomonas oreganosa. Now I need to learn 20, 30 different things about this specific drug. And obviously you're not going to remember things as well if it's just straight 20 to 30 bullet points. So I did something new. I did something different. You all remember that when it came to exam number two, that was my first time trying Anki. Well, with exam number three, getting ready for it at least, because we didn't have the exam number three until November. But when it came to getting myself ready, studying, preparing, learning everything that I needed to learn for exam number three, I started watching sketches and I really like those. Those are nice. It gives you a silly little animated cartoon and as they are drawing out the cartoon, it'll be silly little things. Like because Mona Lisa is sitting in a hot tub, you should remember that Pseudomonas oreganosa is going to cause hot tub folliculitis. So things that absolutely have nothing to do with things that you would actually see on a day-to-day -day basis, but the connection is there, the connection is my, in my mind, and I'm not going to forget that Pseudomonas oreganosa has to do with hot tub folliculitis. Though it was different, it was something that I was able to adapt to and something that I feel like is going to be very useful moving forward in my medical school experience. So. It was good. And now here are a couple of videos from the academic side of my month of October. Hey everyone, it is Friday now. That means it is exam day. I am heading off to class. I'm gonna meet some of my friends. We're just gonna chillax, relax, talk, go over any final questions we have before taking this exam. And then I will have a free weekend. Foundations 2 being over! Woo! Chef Mike is cooking it up back there right now. Oh, is this what it looks like from the other side? Yeah, this is what it looks like to like when they liked my message. Yeah, I'll show you. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, um, like here, it's at Osama Party. And because I was so consumed with making sure I was staying on top of my information for uh, foundations number three, exam number three, I didn't really do quite as much as I wanted to do during the month of October. There were plenty of other things on my October bucket list that I wanted to go to, like I wanted to go to a haunted house. I wanted to go to Jack's Pumpkin Pop-Up. None of that happened, but it's okay because, I mean, I do have four years here in Chicago and every year I plan to expand what it is that I am doing. But beyond that, I did make sure that I celebrated Halloween. Like I said, it's spooky season. How can I not celebrate Halloween? For the Medtrax Halloween party, it was being held at a club. They encouraged people to come dressed up. My friends, we were dressed up as cowgirls, but I did see a bunch of other really cool costumes. Like I saw a Lloyd Forger and a Your Forger. That was so cute. There was also someone dressed up as one of our professors. There was someone dressed up as one of the sketchy videos. Like, it was pretty fun. We had a good time. And then, because it was a club, they had a real stage where the DJ was. And I actually ended up 
on the DJ stage with me and my friends dancing and just like hyping up the DJ as they were playing their music. That was really fun. Guys, college me never would have considered doing anything like this. College me probably wouldn't have even gone to this party, but here I am being a little bit more extroverted, saying yes to more things, making more memories. And that's something that I'm really proud of myself for. I feel like that's growth. So here's a little bit of video from the Halloween party. And that's pretty much it. It is a short video, but I thank you so, so much for being patient as I, you know, do this medical school thing while also trying to make sure that I am putting things out for you all to see my journey. So if you are still here at the end of this video, thank you again very much for watching. Make sure that you like, that you subscribe, that you comment. If you want to support me more as a content creator, you can go to the link in the description for my Patreon where for as little as $2 a month, you can support me as a growing content creator and get access to behind the scenes videos and pictures. So that is everything that I have. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.